Facebook world. Wellness Wednesday followers, hello. Hello and welcome. Just a little bit. Hello, sorry I was about a minute off, but I respect your time. So welcome to Wellness Wednesdays. Grab a sip and we'll get started. Hope everyone is doing well. Have some, um, I guess, poll questions to ask, maybe get some input on um, the timing of these and how frequently we'll keep them up. So I'll make sure to address that. Let me grab what I'll need for massage technique today and then we will get started. Again, welcome to uh, Massage Intuition. That's my business, uh, Cindy Velez Mejia here, licensed massage therapist, centralized out of Oklahoma, but born and raised New Yorker, so a New Yorker at heart. Um, welcome to those who have been coming. Welcome back to those for the first time. Welcome to some self-care, and taking uh, time, setting aside time for yourself. I'd like to uh, kind of start off with just a little shout out to um, Archie and Sizzle. Uh, I want to give a little credit to this shirt I'm rocking today. Yes, I'm a mom. Yes, I dance. Any more questions? So if you don't know too much about me, um, I am a mom. I'm a wife. I am a dual entrepreneur with being a licensed massage therapist and I also do uh, logistics and coordinating for event planning, predominantly around dance, but uh, open to anything. So thank you Archie and Sizzle, love it, representing you guys today um, on our live session. We'll go ahead and get started. Um, thank you again for joining. Look T, hi T, welcome. Um, I always like to mention to everyone the whole idea of this has caught on now that we're just going to make make sure to take time to do self-care uh, for ourselves and my expressing ways on how you can do that. So doing it with you has been really beneficial. And um, as a licensed massage therapist, I never take precedent, nor does any therapist over any medical conditions, prescription, pharmaceutical plans you're on, or if ever you've been told that massage could be contraindicated for you based on terms of your pregnancy, other underlying medical conditions. So that's always first, just here to try to help. Share some things that I can show you visually, suggestions to help improve our well-being, decrease our stress and tension, that's really needed, um, build up and recharge ourselves. So today I'm going to do um, just a kind of a recap of what we've been doing so far. Like how would we put together all of those pieces and just take care of myself for, oh, I don't know, can you buy out 15, 20 minutes? Just a little buy out of time. What could you do to help take care of yourself? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, if you've been following me, it's kind of gonna be a combination of Okay, those, oh, that was week one, week two, week three, week four, and we'll do our best to get through as many of that as possible, all right? So if you've been following, um, you could stretch if you find it important to do a nice stretch before you get started, a nice deep breath. Good. And I'll carve out just about what could you get done in about 15 minutes um, to help take care of yourself. This could be done right before you get in the shower, this could be done right after the shower, this could be in your bed right before you actually go to sleep, this could be done uh, first thing in the morning when you wake up. Um, I always like to start with just some just some basic stretching, so I'll, I'll stretch out the neck and pull that to either side, pull the neck, this is basic things you probably do, forward, and I'm actually pushing so I'm trying to elongate those muscles and I'll push back, simple, straight across. I'm sitting actually to do this. So I'm thinking in about the 15 minutes or so that we have, we'll probably get to about lower back. Okay. And now we can start with whatever we'd like. I'm actually gonna take off my earrings, not because I won't fight nobody, 
Um, but one of our very first sessions, we had a great um, modality with massaging our ears. So I'm going to use um, my lotion bar, and we can talk about those in a moment, but just get a little. You don't need a lot um, for the ears, and we're going to do, if you remember, we're going to do a V, and we're going to just rub on either side of the ear, up and down, up and down. So I'm actually pushing kind of both hands are in, and I'm V'd across. I'm going to go up and down, and I'm actually going to pull on the ear, the cartilage, I'm going to work that all the way up. My finger motion right now is the rolling. So if you remember that, we're going to roll all the way up. You know, Cindy's enjoying it when I, yeah, that happens. <laughs> I can't help but just close my eye because it feel good. And I'm going to pull down. I'm going to do that V again. So what you're going to catch in today's session may not be, oh, we, I, we've done that already, but it's going to be the fluidity, just the motion. So we did the circles. We just do that V up and down. Now I'm gonna pull down the sides of the neck. Did you notice that? Pull down the side of the neck and just pull down. Okay, I can do that. I can work just one side. You know what I'm doing? So cross. This hand is this way. And now I'm going straight down. So it's almost like I'm making a T and I can do the same on the other side. What I've often commented is one of the challenges is like, how do I know if they're giving themselves enough pressure? So you don't want to hurt yourself applying some more lotion bar, but you do want to feel. So as I'm going down, if we get close enough, that skin should be moving, right? I should kind of feel that pressure in. Now I'm going to cup around the back. So I'm doing, I'm going to do this, close my hands. I'm just going to go up and down around the back, up and pull down. See how my elbows up and pull down. And we talked about this last week. We don't want to just get to the base of the neck and like let go. So when I cup and I pull down, I'm going to pull my fingers apart and apply pressure at the base of my neck out to my shoulders. So hands are cupped, pull down, and I'm applying that pressure. I can go to the end of my shoulders. I could cup down. Okay, but what's happening now? I'm hoping if you're following T, VJ, thank you for joining. You should feel either heat or actual circulation. It could feel like a goosebump feeling. It could feel like tingling in a good way. But pull down and I can actually come straight up. Okay, so you see how it's like just doesn't stop. And we go back, cup, and pull down. Okay, we can go across. So something nice about massage therapy is that the concept is that we would always maintain contact with our client and that we keep promoting blood flow and loosening of the muscles. So if you're with me now, I'm actually, we did the cupping, pushed down, came across the front, and now I'm doing kind of cross body Vs. I'm pushing and I'm going the angle of the shoulder and I'm pushing in. And if you were with me last week, ooh, we worked on the pec minor, um, and so you might still feel that. Okay, great. So we've done ears. We did T's on our neck. We did T's on the neck. We cupped on the back of the neck. We came down, and we pull, pulling, pulling, pulling. And now I made V's. I'm going crossbody to the opposite shoulder. And now that we're at the shoulder, let's go ahead and rub those out. I am using a lotion bar. Um, it is really just a solidified lotion, mango butter, shea butter, almond oil. So if that's something that interests you, Massage Intuition now makes these. I'll be happy to discuss that. For the shoulder, it's just a cup. And I'm actually applying equal pressure all the way around. That's a really important piece. I think sometimes we you know just easier here to apply pressure but keep that cupping applying pressure in and all the way around all the way around so up and over and cup all the way through if you're doing this with me let me know if it's working for you and of course if anyone can't hear me or anything please make sure to comment and let me know but we're just going to do those circles you can do both at the same time if you kind of need to save time. 
Um, and if you've been following, you'll know that our concept is always we'll go circular one way and then we'll go counterclockwise. So if I started clockwise, now I'm going to go counterclockwise. What you might not see is I'm also rotating my whole arm. You may have limitations and can't do that. No problem, but if you're feeling like this is working, I can also rotate my arm to help. If you like doing massage, you'll also start to feel the muscles and the joints when you have active motion during massage. And perhaps you've been at a massage, massage table and they're, they'll lift your arm and bring it down. That helps us to reach different muscles, but also to see if there's any awkward clicking or non-proper joint alignment um, in the shoulder. So clockwise and now counterclockwise. And this is pretty common to do for self-massage, cross-body, especially because towards the back, obviously I can do a lot better work coming across and pulling forward this way than if I tried to do it with the same side. So actually pulling forward. And I try to get close enough sometimes so you can see like that skin is moving. And you'll see how I'm kind of leaving like that red-white mark that just indicates that blood flow is happening. So it's not a passive, it's actually kind of digging in there. This is why massage therapists, we have no nails, no nails. If we're gonna give a good massage, no nails. Good, so we've done ear. We got the neck on the side, got the neck in the back, we roped around and we're pulling. And it's really, guys, gonna be that pressure that you give that's going to be the difference from just kind of rub down when something hurts or offering therapeutic relief. We did kind of, I'll call it the V or brush your shoulder. We went opposite sides and now we're doing the circles. So we did a full circle all the way as far as you can go, as far as you can go back there and pull around and the same thing on the other side. This would be a good time to kind of raise and lower the shoulders because we've already got the blood flow going. Excellent. Just gonna do a check-in. What, if any questions, does anyone have so far on that technique? I don't wanna stop your blood flow, so we'll keep going. Okay, let's work down. So we've, right, ears, neck, back of neck, round, V-neck, so we kind of got the collar area. We just did rounded on the shoulders. Um, and then we crossed over and really pulled through. So let's go ahead and get our upper arm. And that can, um, that can actually be a compression. So if you recall when we did this before, um, that cup, again, I'm just gonna roll around. So I'm rolling my arm opposite of the direction. So my right arm is rolling out right and I'm wringing my other arm in to the left or medially. Okay, so we can do that. We can make it go the other way. So now this hand is going to push out and I'll rotate inward all the way through. And you can just do a long stroke all the way down. You may have to come through here on the bottom all the way through. So when I say pulling through, this is my motion either on top and I wish you could feel my pressure. I'm actually pushing all the way down. Uh, when I come from the other side, I actually want that skin to move. I want to feel that. For the arms, I'm actually gonna switch over to my body butter. It's a little thicker um, and the moisture goes a bit longer, so it allows me to do a bit more of that glide. So I'm pulling through, same thing, gonna pull. So I'm really just kind of resting the whole arm in my hand that's cupped, and I'm gonna pull that through. Same thing on this side, bring that all the way down. So you really want to, feel, you should feel that blood flowing. And, and if you're not, reach out to me, say something. Welcome Elvis, welcome Tosh. Um, so let's, if you like, go ahead and ask questions, but it's curved and I'm pushing down in and I'm rolling that down. Same thing on this side. I'd let that arm sit. This arm is really pushing and pulling through. 
okay? And we talked once before about the elbows. and get some body butter on that elbow, and we're going to massage that. So this hand can just rest. I'm gonna do big circles, but I'm kind of pressing it in. I don't know if you guys have ever heard, sometimes I get breathy on our sessions. It's because it's work. If you are doing good pressure here, you're going to feel work. Here's a great technique. Are you with me? If you're rubbing around that elbow, okay, this is rested now. We're going to lift this up as we apply pressure. So I'm rubbing the elbow. I'm going to lift up and I'm going to pull, 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 pull all the way back to that armpit area. That is a great, <laughs> who, who has not been actively massaging people for three months? Um, that is a great release of tension here. So we're in the elbow, we're going to lift up, and I'm going to pull almost as if I'm pushing the elbow through this hand back till I get to the armpit area. That's great. Let's do it to the other side. Let's go ahead and get the other side. Apply some body butter here. So I'm going to get to that elbow, rounded, rounded big circles. Excellent. And now I'm going to pull, so I'm raising this elbow, but I'm not letting go of this grip, almost as if it has to squeeze. See how I'm squeezing it? It has to squeeze through. It has to actually squeeze all the way through. Pull that through. Whew, I feel that one. I definitely feel that one. And, and now we can ring the opposite way. So we started with this. So when I say ring, the opposite hand actually makes like a C and it pinches into the skin, not painfully so. And we're going to ring that arm through. And everybody see that? We're ringing that through. And so I'm like a windshield wiper. This hand is going cross and my right hand is going opposite, opposite, ringing motion. And this makes sense, team, because our muscles in the arm do run a variety of ways, but a good number of them run long ways, right? Extending and flexing our arm. So if we go this way, we're doing a technique we've talked about before, cross fiber. So we're going across those muscles. So those uh, knots that you have and the tension spots that you have can help be released this way um, by doing the windshield wiper technique. Excellent. And again, don't forget the bottom side. So we did this technique where we're pulling that elbow up and going all the way through. Once it's up, you can definitely do a stretch. And last week, who was here? We did our pec minors, so you could feel that. You can actually work that again if you need to. This is a great position to be in to work the pec minor in there, a great position to be in. Someone make sure to let Archie know. I'm rocking his shirt today, okay? Archie and Sizzle, yes. Um, sorry, I digress. So now we've got the pecs taken care of too. So we started with the ear. We even worked that cartilage on the side. We did the T on the neck. T, see cross, T on the neck. We cupped behind the neck, came down applying pressure, and we pulled that all the way through. We followed that up with V pressure, going across the shoulders. We then cupped each shoulder. Mm, this feels good. Cupped each shoulder. Remember, we want to also go counter. So if we go one direction, we then want to go the opposite. Whew, feels good. Opposite direction. And then we did some ringing of the arms, biceps. This hand is going and the arm, ringing hand goes the opposite direction. We don't want to forget to get underneath the arms and we just close with a really good stretch where we now lift this elbow up and we apply that pressure all the way down to the armpit, all the way down to the armpit and we got to a stretch here and if you'd like to re-get into your pec minor muscle that's going to be underneath because your pec muscles sit right on top so that's going to require the pinching here and getting into that side the pinching and getting into this side. All right, next we can get to our forearm. So a little body butter here um, could work great. And in the forearm, 
we're going to, if we want to do good pressure, if you remember, we're going to take our thumb just to the side of our elbows, like where they take blood, so kind of just on the side, so my thumb is facing up. This thumb pushes down, and I'm going to roll all the way down to the wrist. I feel that. I'm starting to slowly get back to massaging, so I would expect if there's any therapist out there or physical therapy, artwork, even office work, you're going to expect to feel that. So if you catch what I'm doing, um, and if you have a problem with your thumb, you can adjust the grasp here by using the full set of fingers. I'm clasping down. This C for Cindy works really well. I'm clasping down, and I'm applying pressure. And I maintain that pressure as I slowly guide all the way down, glide to the wrist. And I'm just moving over about a half inch each time. So now I'm at the middle of the forearm. Now I'm kind of going to the medial side. And I'll go to the elbow again. Of course, if we're going to go down, what do you think we should do? We're going to come up so I can do it with the thumb. And there's equal pressure on both sides. So it's not like this is happening. That'll be pretty dangerous for the thumb. But I'm grabbing on both sides, and I'm going to pull up just to the elbow, and I'm going to pull up, and I'm going to pull up. And I can rub the elbow again, the fluidity. I can rub the whole arm now that I've done that piece. Same thing on this side. Okay, so we're going to get that grasp. If it's going to be with the thumb or all four fingers just right on that distal side, right outside my elbow, I'm going to squeeze down, so I've gone from just a touch to a squeeze, and now I'm going to apply pressure and almost like pull this arm back, and it's gliding through the hand, half inch over, do it all the way down. Now I should be right at the middle. The arm is happening on both sides, and now kind of towards the side. And let's take it back up to the elbow. So you might switch the hand now, so the thumb is on top. And we're going to work that up. And we're going to work that up. Whoo, I feel this. Do you guys feel that? Whoo, and we're going to work that up. Okay, we can do the ringing down here on the forearm. Ringing, see how it's just like one, two, three. One, two, three. Doesn't have to take long to give yourself some self care. Long stroke all the way up to the shoulder, other arm, all the way up to. The shoulder. Excellent. How about a little love for the hands? This uh, was received very well in our very first session. So let's take care of those wrists. Let's do, you see how that I'm ringing? So I've got these two, whatever fingers work for you. If it has to switch, that's fine. But something that applies, it's a grip here. Almost, you can't, as if you're holding uh, someone back, you can't go. And then ring through ring through. Same on the other side. Ring both directions. While you're in here, try moving your wrist. Just up, bring that thumb up and down. Same thing, up and down. And last time those thumb pads were really, really helpful. So let's go ahead and give that some attention. Big circles on. Remember what your thumb pad is? Just that flat base, chunkier, meaty part. Thumb base. Ah, oh, yeah, deep pressure. I'm really pushing in here. And on that other side, you could do it with a couple of fingers, or you could do it with a soft knuckle. And and it, you may not even have to like lean one down. You can push one into the other. And I'm just ringing through, and now I'm just ringing through. How are those thumb pads feeling? Rub that whole palm, big circle. Rub that whole palm and now pull on each finger. Note how I pull. I'm kind of doing this grip and I'm pulling from the base all the way through. Have you ever got a manicure and they stop like at each knuckle? It's a great technique and ring it all the way through. If you were here for my reflexology week, whoo, I'm feeling a lot of tingling. Um, fingers often, if, if that's something that interests you, hold emotion. So you may find that as you do this technique, it can help to decrease worry, even anger and frustration. Guess which finger holds anger and frustration? So if you're dealing with a lot of that now, 
Bring that finger through all the way and don't forget the thumbs. Don't forget the thumbs, pulling that all the way through. We can even just rub our, I'm really just rubbing my palms together, real pressure and bending the wrists both directions. Bending the wrists both directions. Pull that through, pull that all the way through. Now something we haven't done together is a lot of back work because it's kind of hard to um, maybe reach your own back. So if we can in the closing minutes, because we've really done ear all the way through, we've done our neck, we talked about base of neck, pulled around, we did collarbone, we've rubbed shoulders, we did biceps, we did triceps, we did forearms, wrists and fingers, and of course, it, it's a bit quick this time. So I'm just showing how if you take 15 to 20 minutes, I mean, I feel such a difference already. Interested in your feedback if you do. Um, so we're going a little quicker because some days you're going to need to recharge or feel better, but you only have 15 minutes to do it. So you've done quite a bit. We even got to the pecs um, as well. Did you know massage therapists offer abdominal massage? inquire with your local therapist or your virtual massage therapist sometime. But let's talk a little bit about what you could do for your um, back. Because I think at one time we did get pretty good into the upper back. But if we wanted to work, I see Archie and Sizzle's work complete now. Um, but if we wanted to work the lower back, you ever, you know, just stand mommy position, kind of super, super woman. Franco tells me all the time. I'm going to take that same position with these soft knuckles. And instead of side by side, I'm gonna go right to the back, okay? Now, I am doing small circles, and you, based on your flexibility, you might be able to go pretty high, or you can go lower, I'm right at my hip right now. You could definitely work your glutes, and that's all I'm doing with my hands is this motion. I'm doing these circular, but I'm pushing in. So this might require a little extra, um, attention, flexibility, and for some could be a bit of a challenge. But I just want you to see how you can do these small circles on your side. Okay, and I'm just staying like a certain area, the lower back, small circles. And I'm pushing in. I'm doing some good pressure in. I can do it on both sides. Now I'm just doing it facing you. Um, the polite thing to do, but I am on either side of the spine. I'm never going to work on the spine. I'm on either side, and I'm just doing circles. Remember, we're going to go both directions. So if I go clockwise, and I come out on the side and do clockwise, now I can do counterclockwise towards the middle, and I can even walk. So I'm kind of just doing this walking motion, most like cats do. I can do a walking motion right underneath um, my bra strap, if you can reach that far, you might be able to reach even further. But I just want it to be even. So now I'm doing this walking, rolling motion all the way down to the top of my glutes. So if I start on either side of the spine and do this motion down, I'll come out about half an inch and continue that motion down. I can even get it so that I'm to the side of my body. And I'm doing that motion because on the side of my body right here, what am I working on? starting to get my hips. So I can do that circular motion and actually start working my hips. I can come pretty far forward, right to the very side. So I'm by my pelvic bone and I'm just doing this circular motion, pushing in, pushing in, soft knuckled. You don't want to hurt yourself. A really effective technique I was able to do with a virtual massage with my buddy Sarah in Canada was we got right uh, above the hip, so we're kind of just on either side of the cossacks in the back, and we put pressure, so if I had to do a visual, I'm pushing this way, but we leaned our backs backwards. So we're putting that pressure, and we just stretched back and started to do some circles. Oh, I can feel that, oh. And we're doing these rotating circle motion, and we worked it out all the way till we came to the side of the hip. Now, I happen to love doing glute work, but there's an example of how you could do some glute work. You could have a chair, get that chair up, and do that same 
circular motion on the glutes. I am going to have a session for glute work. So I won't do too much, even though this feels really great. So for any of you needing help with glute work, there's a little head start um, on the glute work. But that just about covers. I mean, we went from ear, neck, shoulders, biceps, triceps, wrists, hands. Then we came over to our side and did circular motion to work our hips. Worked in, never on the spine, but on lateral side. And we're just kind of doing this kneading. Kneading is a really common, great technique for massage therapy. Then if you'd like to get some glute work, we showed you how you can put your foot up on a chair and start to do, so it's circular motion. We're pushing in and we're doing this circular and we want to do opposite direction as well to promote circulation. So there is a 20 minute, 15, 20 minute self massage. Remember, parallel work we want to do it on the left and the right side even though you may have a more sore spot or a weaker side to feel balanced, you want it on both. Um, so I hope that that was um, somewhat helpful for you. Some of the things I talked about that I had used, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Super humbled and excited that these products that sometimes I use at home and I make are going well. So Massage Intuition now sells lotion bars, great for hand, feet, neck, um, and wrist massages, lots of fragrances or fragrance free. Hit us up. Um, it went so well, I had to end the sale a little early. So it's going to end on uh, Sunday, the 21st. I do have male fragrances, some really great smells. So if a Father's Day gift is something you're thinking about, I can get those out to you as quickly as possible. And then the body butters, I actually will be sharing with other massage therapists because it's not oily it's a perfect glide but for your own technique so these body butters are available in great fragrances great way to use it um, not much needed i think i did both of my arms with about that much so check out our site i have an online store i'll make sure to put it in the comments um, as well if that's something that you would like thank you for your time and for joining again um, I will be sending out a poll. I know many are returning to normal routine, so being able to join might be a bit more difficult. The lives are always going to be on, one, my YouTube channel, so please subscribe, Massage Intuition uh, with Cindy, LMT. And I also put them on the Massage Intuition page, but maybe there's just a better time or day for these. And then I'm also considering cutting back, so I think in July, uh, we'll do two sessions, um, but I'll still be recording videos, still putting content, still available for virtual sessions. So by all means, invite, share, let others know, and I'll be happy to. I hope that some of you who are avid massage uh, receivers are starting to get those again, if your city and county allow. But please stay safe, um, stay cautious and alert. So many things are kind of tackling our immunity, our stress level, perhaps our happiness and our mental health. So on Wellness Wednesday, as a massage therapist, massage to me is such an important part of well-being. I thank you for watching and for joining. Uh, please, by all means, reach out to me if you have any questions. This is a great technique. I hope you feel the blood flowing. It was a great session for me. And I thank everyone for um, your support. Cindy Velez Mejia, LMT, based out of Oklahoma City, sending you much love. Please stay safe. Keep your mental self-care a priority. And if there's anything I can do to help you, please, please reach out. Thank you again for all your support. And we look forward. I'll let you know when our next session will be. Stay safe until then. Stay well, everyone.